This is a regular ritual for Rod Watkins. He lugs his diving gear to Scripps Park in La Jolla. This happens to be a crisp, clear morning above the water, and Watkins is hoping for the same below. This is called the regulator. We'll put that on the tank to breathe. <laughs> it's always good to have some way to breathe underwater. Watkins runs Scuba San Diego, and he's dived here for nearly five decades. He says the seven gill sharks used to be scarce here. You'd only see one or two a year. The difference today is we're seeing so many more seven gill sharks that it's kind of phenomenal. And intimidating. Watkins says the sharks effortlessly slide through the water on the ocean floor. They're silent, they're bold, and they're big. The seven gills, they won't move out of the way for anybody. They'll cruise right up to you, right around you. An 11-foot shark gets Watkins' adrenaline pumping. He regularly dives at La Jolla Cove, hoping for a close-up look at a creature that is usually the largest predator in local waters. For some divers, it's an irresistible pull. This is a very picturesque scene. It's attractive to people, but it's what you don't see underneath the water that is attractive to the sharks. These sharks tend to like kelp forests, bays, uh, fairly shallow water. Marine biologist John Hyde says there is plenty of food here. The larger sharks feed on seals and sea lions, and both of those animals are common at the cove. Hyde says the sharks thrive in nearshore areas from Alaska to the tip of Baja, California. But until recently, sightings have been infrequent. Their dorsal fin is very far back on their back, so they don't look like your typical shark, where most sharks have a dorsal fin about mid-body. These are further back towards the tail, so they look a lot more prehistoric with this long tail, kind of weirdly placed dorsal fin. Hyde doesn't consider seven gills a threat to people. They haven't bitten anyone in San Diego waters. But he says they are big and are aggressive if provoked. He isn't sure if the local population of seven gills is up or if divers are better at finding them. So we're not sure if there's a change in effort, you know, more people with cameras, more people looking for these sharks that's causing us to, to hear about them more often or whether there actually are more. I think it's a combination of both. Michael Bear had his own close encounter while diving with a friend off Point Loma. I looked over and all of a sudden this magnificent nine foot seven gill swam right between us. I mean, it was just like, like that, like two feet away. I could have reached out and touched it. Bear hopes to find out more about seven gill sharks. He set up a web page and is urging local divers to upload pictures, information about encounters, and videos. This is a female seven gill taken in very shallow water a couple years ago off of Point Loma. And as you can see, she came very close to the divers. Bear considers himself a citizen scientist. He's diligently collecting information in an effort to understand the species. A broad nose seven gill shark. Bear would like to know how many seven gill sharks live here, and he's interested in identifying the seven gills who've been photographed and filmed. We hope in the, in the years coming to be able to identify individual seven gill sharks with the unique freckling pattern on their bodies. Pattern recognition software might help with that. Meanwhile, Bear continues to collect, document, and organize the underwater encounters. And as you can see, they're very unperturbed by divers. They just keep doing their thing. They just cruise by. That's a close encounter. That is a very close encounter. That's a male. So far, he's gathered 50 videos and more than 150 photos. He's hoping to spark interest in the local marine research community so more will be known about a prehistoric creature that is thriving in San Diego's nearshore habitat. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.